Welcome in front of me I have Amazfit Active 2 uh, round edition and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First we need to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the lower button. Or is it the upper button? Let's try the upper button. Okay, it was the upper button. So press and hold the upper button to turn on the watch. And once you see the Amazfit logo on the screen, you can release the button and then wait until the watch is done booting up. And once the watch boots up, you probably will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list, look for the language you would want uh, to use on your watch. And once you find the language, tap on it to select it. Then you will see the message to download and install the a zap application on, you, on, the, on the phone that you want to pair your watch with. So go to your phone, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, open the Play Store, then tap on search. On the search bar, type in zap with two P's and then tap on search. And you should see this application, uh, zap with this icon. You can tap on install to install it. And once you install the application, you can tap on open and uh, to open it. In the app, you will see the login page. Basically, we need to login into his Amazfit account. If you don't have one, you can tap on sign up and make an account and then log into it. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on login, enter the email address and password. Okay, oh, apparently I entered the password incorrectly, so let me fix it. And after you log in, you should see some pop-ups about the permissions. But apparently we are just on the home page. And if you see the home page and you don't see any pop-ups about the permissions, you can tap on device, uh, watch, uh, got it. And then you probably will see pop-ups about the permissions. And here we have uh, the one for the nearby devices. Allow it and tap on get it and allow the permission for the uh, video. And once you do, you it will open the camera app on your phone. And what we need to do is to tap on the check mark on our watch. It will show us the QR code and we need to scan the QR code with our phone. So basically you need to point the phone's camera on the watch to scan the uh, QR code like this. And after you scan the QR code, it will start connecting the devices together. So tap on allow. Then tap on done. And uh, here, as you can see, we can enable the notification access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your watch or rather from your phone on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip the step. If you want to use that feature, tap on enable and allow. Next, we have the uh, Bluetooth calls. If you want to basically be able to manage the calls uh, on your phone with your watch, you will need to allow some permissions. If you don't care, you can skip it and keep it disabled. If you want to enable them, tap on enable and allow the required uh, permissions. And then we have the uh, calling all contacts. Basically, you can uh, call your contacts via the Zep application, via Zep Flow, uh, only if you allow the application access to your contacts. So if you want to uh, basically pick the contacts from the list on your watch and then start a call with them uh, from the watch, you will need to allow the permissions to use it. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to use it, tap on enable and allow the required permissions. Same for the SMS and voice commands. If you want to use them, you will need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can skip it. And then we have the calendar thing. So if you want to see the pop-ups about the events and stuff like that on your watch, you will need to allow the uh, calendar permission. If you don't care, you can skip it. And finally, the location. So basically, it will, use, uh, it will be used for the weather and other stuff that requires the like, location access. If you don't care, you can skip it. If you want to enable it, tap on enable and while using the app. Then tap on done, 
and you should see your Amazfit Active 2 on the device page. And if you go to your watch, it should be ready to use. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like.